Welcome to Pack Valham. All right, uh, I am not going to bother reading my intro that I have, which is the same for all of my I Believe the Lie and I Believe the Lie season two jokes and shenanigans explained. You can just watch one of the other videos, not the previous one, because I kind of was like blah 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 the way through. But most of the other ones you can, most of the ones before this one you can see what, or you can even look at the Google Doc to see, to read the intro, but anyway. And also because this is not the first or second explanation video for the episode, then that means I'm not showing the files either. Hopefully I can finish episode 2 here. In this video. Nin this is only 19 minutes. Let's see if I can do this quickly. And then we have about half of the next one. Alright. Night challenge. First, I want to make a challenge for my editor. Which is my future self. Hello, future self. Uh, other side. Ah, oh, hello. Okay. It is about the background music. So, for the background music, every piece used must be royalty free. Every piece used must be used once each. Every piece used must have the letters NIGHT. So that's N-I-G-H-T. Uh, I'm not gonna. I don't have to play all of that. Anyway. This was not my first take, but I forget how many takes it took me. For this take, I figured out how to explain the challenge. The rules are self-explanatory. In a nutshell, I had to use only royalty-free music with NIGHT in the title, spelled N-I-G-H-T, disregarding capitalization and whether it is within another word, without duplicating or playing with any of them, and starting the, ne the next one immediately at where the current one ends. The challenge was for editor me, and it was just something interesting that I thought of a few minutes before. I said hello, and editor me said hello back, but I looked at the wrong side, so editor me told me to look at the other side. Easy challenge. A specified clap to start the first piece is coming up. Three, two, one. Before that clap, I want to... This is editor me. I want... Okay. Uh, the first thing I will mention is the bad audio. It sounds like somehow the blue snowball was not used, but the internal computer, computer microphone, what? I don't know why I keep messing up reading this so much. Um, it sounds like somehow the blue snowball was not used, but the internal computer microphone was. I prefer to use the blue snowball because it has better audio and it does not capture any internal hardware noise, like fans. Except for those times where it glitches. <laughs> anyway, back to the script. I EQ'd the audio to make it sound better. Box isn't responding. Wait. I prefer to use the blue snowball because it has better audio and it does not capture any internal hardware noise, like fans. I EQ'd the audio, audio to make it sound better. Editor Meme made this video to show how easy this challenge ended up being. I used the three main websites that I get royalty-free music from, which you can see in the tabs. And they are Incompetech, FreePD, and Silverman Sound Studios. 
I used JS.2 to listen to some pieces from page 2 of FreePD because there were no audio players on that page. In Notepad, I listed all the titles I could find that included Night, followed by their duration, followed by I, if it came from Incompetech, F from FreePD, or S sourced from Silverman Sound Studio. Oh, I did something clever here. I, if it came from Incompetech, F from FreePD, or S sourced from Silverman Sound Studios. The list is sorted by duration, and I used the calculator to find an approximation for the sum of some of the pieces, starting with the one with the longest duration, which ended up being well over the length of this I Belong to Life Season 2 video. Good Night from page 2 of Free PD, which would be valid, sounds identical to Weight of Responsibility from Incompetech, which would be invalid. For that reason, I did not use it. One more thing which I overlooked. There is a typo. I typed tail with A-I-L where it should be tail with A-L-E for midnight tail. The duration being 2 minutes 42 seconds so you can find it more easily in the list. The capital N-I in quiet night, 58 seconds, and also in chill cool night, 2 minutes 57 seconds, are not my typos, are in the official titles and file names on page 2 of Free PD. I just said that. Only pay for what you need with Liberty Mutual. Only and of course it goes blurry when I'm actually recording it now. I just said that. Only pay for what you need with Liberty Mutual. Only pay for what you need with Liberty Mutual. I just said that. Oh, that's right, you did say that. Our physical... I had seen this ad before, so I was prepared with this joke. I knew the wet teddy bear vendor says, I just said that after a pause. My joke here is that I repeated what he just said about Liberty Mutual during the pause, so it's as if he could hear me saying what he just said. P.S. While making the which ad explanation, which will be later in this series, I found out why he said that. He looked down at the text saying what he just said. I had never noticed it before. It's important to stay hydrated. It is important to stay hydrated. Park that right there. How long have I been recording? 13 minutes, okay. You know what? Park that right there. That's out of the way, but I could park it up here. I could park it up here. I could park my face cam right there. And if I want to look at the top, there we go, perfect. And if I want to see how long I've been recording, just look right there. Let's see, 13, 38, 39, 40. Okay. Just experienced. Seeing how long I have been recording is a recurring thing when I've lost a life season two. This time, I show a few spots that I could put, or park, the screen recorder controls and timer. I ended up parking my face cam right beside the timer so that I can make look like I can look toward the left to see the timer. When I focused the YouTube window, it went over the controls and timer, so I could not see it by looking toward the left. Night Reminder Reminder from for me the editor Is the music still going on? You expect me to read that down there? Okay 
the music's still going on. I reminded editor me about the ninth challenge by asking if the music is still playing. My face cam was at the top beside the screen recorder timer, but editor me put the response in the bottom left corner with one word per line. That was too far away for me to read, so I had to move my face cam to read it. After I confirmed that the night music was still playing, I moved my face cam back at the top. Well, I assumed the music was still playing, but it was possible that I failed the challenge. I didn't know which would happen while recording. I thought of and mentioned a few titles that included Night to try to get an idea of how Editor Me would do on the challenge. <laughs> uh, I'll pause the recording until I find, find what this is. That last sentence was ref referring to. Oh, it was not long after. Uh. <laughs> yes. Unless I failed the challenge, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I going 17 minutes. It's like a night cave, night chaser, night break. Crunk Knight, that count. Different kind of knight, but N I G H T is in K N I G H T. Quinn Song First Night, Midnight Meeting, Night of the Owl. Okay, so, alright. I had to know! I had. Add collection. Chill. I think I should make a pack collection with ads that played during. I Beloved to Lie and I Beloved to Lie Season 2, and this moment would be included in it. Mortal Kombat in theaters and HBO Max April 23rd. Chill? I decided to include that moment in the Jukes and Shenanigans explanations too. Perhaps I will make a video with just the ads. Furthermore, how about these two? opposite cuts, which might include some overlap. A video or series with only jokes and shenanigans, and a video or series with only predictions, the basic concept of I Will Buff the Lie. And see, th and the reason why I did this before reading the expl explanation, because I thought of another comment, a comment that I went to say to you after seeing that ad for a movie that was rated R. Typically I don't really, well, I mean R-rated movies aren't really what I'm into, but there is one R-rated movie that I would like to see. National Lampoon's Vacation. The, the, you know the first one. I I've I've seen the 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 were there every two Christmas vacations. I have not seen the second. I've, the first one is we watch it as a family almost every year, and we have a couple of inside jokes. Uh, 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 was it Eddie saying that the Jello with the cat food was good? That they used to be one of our inside jokes, but then the last time, ever since the last time we watched it, oh yeah, I kind of retired that one. We used to say good, Clark, because we kind of misremembered it. And then there was a time I we, we watched the movie and realized, oh, we did not say Clark. And then like the next year, I, I guess, we watched it again. I, Eddie was not even talking to Clark. Anyway, we don't really use that inside joke anymore, but, but we, but, the new uh, inside joke that we've adopted since last time we've watched it, bend over and I'll show you. And 
<laughs> yeah, there are a couple variations that like Bandova show ya. <laughs> Uh, I have watched the Vegas Vacation. That it? Have I only ever seen Christmas Vacation and the uh, Vegas Vacation? Do they have a European Vacation? I don't remember. But then I mean, obviously, I haven't seen it. Uh. Yep, okay. Yeah, you remember I said, but, because bend over and, you know, but. Well, then why is she called Aunt Fanny? You couldn't call her Aunt Booty. Whoa! I was not talking to you. Even though he's the one who asked. He's the one who asked. Why are you saying nobody cares? The title literally asked who's the imposter. And I think it's the first woman. Because she puckered and the rest did not. And if you don't know what I'm talking about there, then watch about the... Um... Uh, Roughly three quarters into my question Q1 video. Evan asked, who is the imposter? Mr. Super Mantara also thought it was the first one. Then the man 24th said nobody cares. Evan asked, at the, the title of the short asks who is the imposter? Why the heck are you saying nobody cares? The title of the short literally asked. I am distracted. You wanna make a diss track for my distractions? Bandova, show ya. Uh, uh, maybe you can make take some of my distractions, make three copies of them, and pitch shift them differently to, to make cores out of them or cortify them. And why am I mentioning that? Is that because the next Joker shenanigan has quartification? The answer is yes. Okay. Boo quartification. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let's go That's through the right pipe. pipe. <laughs> he already died to the boo once, which got me the E2 bingo space. Dave said, nya, 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 while jumping over the boo. I quartified that as I like to do. I mimicked it, and that was included in the quartification. Dave saying, let's go through the red pipe, was also included. I recalled that I did that the year before, but I may have forgotten that I already did it this season. The night challenge prohibits playing with the background music. Adjusting the volume is permitted, but playing with the video and its audio is permitted. <laughs> Remember last year, I used to duplicate that, thing like that, and <laughs> pitch shift the different ones. Now, because it's not background music, you are allowed to do that, but only the background music do not pitch shift. Like, if you wanted to, pitch shift my voice. Or maybe I should say, pitch shift my voice. The background music, do not pitch shift. Like, if you wanted to, pitch shift my voice right now. Oh, even by itself, but do not pitch shift the background music. Yeah, that's fine, intended to start at 17.38, but... Who cares? I know the YouTube algorithm messed up. You don't even need to make so many spammy posts. Okay, Ben the Men 24 has gotten into my head in a bad way. I gave an example for what I am allowed to pitch shift, which was my voice. 
Editor B took the opportunity to do so. First, it was pitch shifted to 5, then to negative 5. And I guess while recording, I was thinking Editor B would do that. Okay. Almost over. Quick outro. Your challenge, editor, is almost over. Um. I'm gonna wrap this up. If you're smart, click the like buttons. If you're a genius, click the subscribe buttons. And you will see me next time. Until then, take care. Then the man 24 does not take care. <laughs> While recording, I did not know how easy the challenge would be, and I looked to the left to see that I had been recording for 21 minutes, so I said the outro quickly to try to make it easier for editor me. There was just a little bit left in midnight meeting, which is already short, so I put some filler text until it ended, and I put the five seconds of black there. Hmm. Huh. Okay. And then finish up with part four since uh, this video is not unreasonably long. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven explanations for part four of episode two of season two of I Beloved to Lie. Series where it's been a lot of fun to look like an idiot. I guess I like alliterations. Pack Valham. No, I said alliteration. I meant to say acronym. Acronym. Pack Valham. Puzzles and cool videos of life. Pack some more types of videos I originally initially intended. And then there's act acapella tunes, which is sometimes a train wreck. Especially Bar Harbor Express Blues. I get it, but I'm cheating. Um, Scrolls is not a very good one either. Primer post praises though. Oh boy, that's a good one. And even my first one, TikTok time, not bad. Be in the woods is a good one. Bumper car, eh. eh. Genre salad. Interesting experimental idea, but the execution, eh. That's why. I want to deactivate them, which means I write a score of what I in intended it to sound like, and then I will reactivate them and use the score to make good acapella music. And then I can either record directly, the computer audio directly with Filmora, or I can download the audio file, which I might want to download the audio file anyway, or I can just cut around it. Yeah. Let's not, if, let's not make too big of a distractions here. Don't want to make it too challenging for me to try to continue this joke. Big challenge. Do the music challenge again, but with big instead of night. The same rules as the night challenge apply, but with big in the title instead of night. While editing this video, I decided to not make any cuts to trim the main video, which makes the challenge harder because I would need to find big music to fill the entire length. I could not find enough big music on the big three in Competech, 
Free PD, Silverman Sound Studios. So I went to filmmusic.io. Some of the music used can also be found on Incompetech or Free PD, but I got all of them from Film Music and used their license. By the way, I put some of my music. Well, not any of my acts. I'm gonna wait until I deactivate and reactivate them. Make make sure they sound good. Then I'll put them on filmmusic.io. But I put some of my music from Muse Score onto Film Music. Fake anti soft lock? No come clock pipe. Uh, okay. Back to the start. What? I was confused by my arrows. I thought the one on the, on the left was pointing to the N itself. The typo. Anti. I put N it instead of anti. And I soft lock in the little preview thing. The one with the munchers falling beside the. Let me see. I was confused by my arrows. I thought the one on the left was pointing to the anti soft lock in the little preview thing. Uh, the one with the muncher falling beside the in game arrow. I guess my left arrow is pointing to the current situation that Mario is in. And in that while editing, I forgot that there was an anti-soft lock with munchers. Nor did I notice that was the part of the video shown by the little preview thing. I also had forgotten that anti soft luck while recording spoiler alert where mario is now is not a real anti soft luck so i did not bold the bingo space So what you're telling me... So what you're telling me... So what you're telling me... I don't think... I don't think that would have gone away. I don't think those... I don't think the uh, launchers would have... If we hadn't went in far enough. Alright, my... Dave said... So... What you're telling me, so what you're telling me, which reminded me of the so you're telling me meme. I still had an image of the meme from the year before, so I faded it onto the screen. See episode 3, actual good, part 3, 9 minutes 31 seconds. Goodbye. Goodbye, live Val him. Okay. Witness this comment. 2143. I found the last chat message from live Val him in this video. V v v v I should have just rolled with it. Instead of messing up more. I found the last chat message from live Val him in this video. There may be one or two that were missed by recorded me, but I'm not going to mention them in this series. 
Live Valham said, Goodbye, Pack Valham. So I said, Goodbye, Live Valham. I decided to record myself making a comment that says that. I had to widen the window so that there was enough room for YouTube to let me make a comment. I also mentioned where they can see me type it. Oh, the window needs to be bigger in order for me to make a comment. Alright, 21. is not responding now I'm trying to scroll I move swipe my finger on the screen to scroll but the text is not moving nothing's moving let's see if I put in portrait then landscape no that did not fix it Tox is not responding we're almost done Oopsie texty. Alright, uh, how long have I been recording? To uh, I accidentally put the text at this part of the video, or somehow they got moved to here. What that text is supposed to be for is during Troll of the Troll Part 1, which will be the next I Will Have to Lie Season 2 Explanations video. Oh, pumped the microphone to my phone this time accidentally. Two more, two more, two more, two more, two more, two more. Two more. Oh, I'm not putting the script or anything anywhere in the explanations talk about this. Yeah. Oop. Which I've done twice before. Yeah, with YouTube play button, put my finger. Correcting the comment. Oops. Is that 2.3? Okay, this is 2.4 slash 3.1. Right, right? Yeah, we did part 3 previously. Oh, let's look here. Yeah. I realized that I made a mistake in the comment. I called it part 3 instead of part 4. 
I first looked at the spreadsheet to confirm the correction. Then I started to open the playlist to confirm, but I noticed YouTube Studio was open, so I looked at that to see what the previously uploaded part was to confirm, and I closed the tab that was trying to load the playlist. How many of these are they? How many DGR? How many of these are they, DGR? One, two, three... Nah, actually, I'm not gonna count them. Hello, my friends! What I was curious to see how many of the recommended videos on the right came from DGR. I started to count, but then I decided to stop. Out of what was visible, there are eight DGR videos, three Dr. Mike videos, one Clutter Cold 069 video, one Team Edge video, one Kitchen Nightmares video, and one Two Set Violin video. Alright, if you're smart, click the like button, if you're genius, click the subscribe button, you'll see me next time with I Belove to Lie Season 3 Episode 2 unless I something more urgent or whatever or some or some of the reason that I decided to do something else before then Yeah. Um uh, If you're smart, click the like button. Zzz, zzz, zzz. If you're genius, click the subscribe button. Zzz, zzz, zzz. And I might want to change my intro and outro at some point. Like, I think we're at nine years of my YouTube channel, and so for the ten years, which will be next year, I think I'd like to change it. Though maybe I could have Welcome to Pack Valham. And if you're smart, click the like button. If you're genius, click the subscribe button for one more year. So it'll be actually 10 years of that intro. And then for the 11th year or whatever, then I could have a different intro and outro. And I'm taking suggestions. If, if you think I should change, welcome to Pack of Elham. Or if, if you're smart, click the like button, genius, subscribe button. No. You see me next time. Oh, oh, there's a gnat. There is a gnat. But unlike Azurus, I you do not have a bug zapper. Um, also, don't you? You don't have. And if you think I should change it, then. You can make a suggestion. Well, you can make a suggestion if you, even if you think I should keep what I have. You can make a suggestion for, like, you should keep what you have, but if you were to change it, use this or whatever you want. Yeah. So, cut it off right there, because just before I was saying. The intro for the troll, the troll, the troll. Alright, you'll see me next time. And until then, take care. Alright, so onto the mask here. Ooh, ooh. That one's dope. What? I will say that one is my favorite polo so far.